This month, the Stroke Special Interest Group crew looked at the evidence related to managing subluxation. Upper extremity recovery after stroke continues to be a challenge for therapists, including management of the sublux shoulder, which can complicate motor and functional goals for rehab. Today, we look at the evidence surrounding management of shoulder subluxation and stroke. So keep in mind that we are discussing shoulder subluxation and not shoulder pain. It is generally accepted that shoulder pain post-stroke is not directly related to the magnitude of subluxation. Let's recap what the latest research suggests. Overall, the evidence has shown that F FES and NMES can be effective for acute and subacute shoulder subluxations less than six months with the parameters indicated on the screen. Applying the electrodes uh, to the posterior deltoid, supraspinatus, with some studies indicating the teres minor um, have been indicated in the studies. NMES was not effective for reducing subluxation for persons with chronic stroke and has not been found to be beneficial for improving overall arm function or reducing shoulder pain in chronic stroke. Shoulder supports or orthoses or slings may help in realigning the glenohumeral joint only when they are being worn. Interestingly, one study in 2017 actually found that not wearing a sling seemed to reduce su shoulder subluxations better than utilizing one. The American Heart Association guidelines in 2016 on stroke intervention still indicate that taping has not been found to be effective in managing subluxations long term, with little difference noted in outcomes in subacute stroke. However, some recent studies are indicating that taping has been effective in reducing pain, improving muscle activity, and improving disability rating scores in acute short term duration. Thanks for watching. We have lots more information for you at our webpage, our Facebook page, and our Twitter page. We hope to see you at Combined Sections in February in Denver, Colorado.